When my kids were little, we came into the family room one day, and there was a bat, like the ugly, scary kind, <laughs> stuck between the sliding glass door and the screen door, and its face was up against the glass, and I freaked out and sent the kids in the other room and said to my husband, take care of that. And so the next day, when the kids were playing in the yard and I was sitting with him on the deck enjoying some lemonade, I said, so what did you do with the bat? And he said, oh, I think there was something wrong with it. I just kind of scooped it off and tapped it into the yard. And I said, and then what did you do? <laughs> because I was envisioning that he you know, beat it into a pancake and buried it six feet under. But he said, oh, no, I just let it, let it go. And just then I looked into the yard and my toddler leaned down to pick something up out of the grass and it was too much. I swooped into the yard and said, kids, get in the house and, you know, come to safety. And I was in the kitchen scrubbing their fingers and their toes and my husband came in and I said, did you find the bat? Did you find it? And he's like, Shannon, the bat is long gone. And I said, well, did you see it fly away? Did you? Did you? And I got in his face and I pointed my finger. And it's one of those control girl stories that I, I don't like to remember. I think that when I'm trying to take control, I'm not trying to be exasperating. I'm not trying to make everybody miserable, but that's the inevitable outcome. Uh, I took a beautiful sunny day that was filled with laughter and lemonade, and I just turned it on its head and created tension and chaos. And really, you know, if, if I'm honest, I wasn't as worried about my kids' safety. Um, I know some moms really struggle with being anxious about safety and germs and all those things, but I'm pretty sure that if my kids had come across a rabid bat in the yard, they would have come straight to me. What was really beneath that explosion of anger and disrespect was me saying to my husband, like, this is not acceptable. I need for you to be the protective daddy that I want for my children. And I'm going to be in your face and I'm going to be disrespectful and I'm going to send you this message until you get it. It was me trying to take control. And the irony is that when I'm trying to take control, I'm trying to create peace and security and joy in my family, but I produce the opposite effect. I just create tension and chaos. The more controlling I get, the more miserable we all become. 